Hey guys, it's our last campsite review video for Reed Bingham State Park in Georgia. Check out sites 44, 45, and 46. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Kevin with Kemp Outside, your inside source for all things outside. Today we're going to take a look at some of the campsites at Reed Bingham State Park in southern Georgia. We really enjoyed our time at Reed Bingham. It's a nice little campground, a nice state park. If you haven't seen our campground overview video, I'm going to put a link to it right up here and down in the description below. We give you an overview of the campground and all the different types of campsites that are available and some of the amenities in the campground. So if you haven't seen it, check out that video. It'll help you plan your trip to Reed Bingham. We also did a park overview video. And if you haven't seen that, I'm gonna put a link to it right up here or down in the description below. And in that video, we show you the reservoir, we show you uh, the river, we show you some bank fishing access and the boat ramps and the picnic pavilions and all the things that are in the park that you may want to take advantage of on your next trip to Reed Bingham. So if you haven't visited Reed Bingham, I highly recommend you check out that video. And we also did a hiking video at Reed Bingham. It is a fantastic little park for hiking. They've got some great hiking trails. They've got a boardwalk along the river that was just fantastic. We really enjoyed our hike. So if you haven't seen that video, check it out. I'm going to put it right here. So with that, guys, let's get to the campsites in this video. Reed Bingham State Park is in southern Georgia. It's just off I-75 between Valdosta and Tifton. It's easily accessible by Tallahassee, Gainesville, Jacksonville, Savannah, Macon, Atlanta, and Columbus. Reed Bingham is not a large state park, but there are lots of things to do. It has fantastic water access with boat ramps and bank fishing. It has some nice hiking trails and a great campground. The campground for Reed Bingham State Park is indicated by the red arrow. It is easily accessible from the entrance of the park, and it is very, very nice. We really enjoyed our stay. The nearest restroom facility for the sites we're going to take a look at today is indicated by the red arrow. It's a full-service restroom facility with running water, hot showers, and flush toilets, and laundry facilities co-located. There are also handicapped restrooms in this building. The first site we're going to take a look at is indicated by the red arrow. That's site number 44, and it's a back-end site in Loop 2. So here's a view from the Loop Road so that you can see the surrounding areas before we enter the site. That's the restroom facility right there, so you're very close. And the site is level. There's some nice shade due to that big tree there. This site is equipped with water, electric, and sewer hookup, as well as cable TV hookup. The electric hookup is 30 amps, and as you can see, you don't want to back up past the end of your driveway there or you will go off the edge. You also want to be careful when you're walking around the site. The site is also equipped with a fire pit with grill grate, a hook to hang a lantern or other gear, and a picnic table. And that's a look at site number 44. The next site we're going to take a look at is site number 45. Site 45 is another back-end site in Loop 2, indicated by the red arrow. So the entrance to this site also is the entrance to Site 46. So they kind of crisscross a little bit. And as you can see, you're right across from the restroom facility. So as we make our way into this site, you'll see that it's level. The site does have electric water and sewer hookup, as well as cable TV hookup. And the electric hookup is 30 amp. The site is pretty deep, which is nice. Uh, the site is also equipped with a picnic table, a fire pit with grill grate, and a 
hook to hanging lantern or other gear. And again, you don't want to back up past the edge of the driveway or you can uh, go off the pad. There's not a whole lot of shade in this site. That's a look at site number 45. And the last site for our video series at Reed Bingham State Park is site number 46. Site 46 is a pull-through site in Loop 2. So Site 46 shares the entrance with Site 45, as we said before. And there's a slight uphill to get into Site 46, but once you're in, it's nice and level. And it is right across from the restroom. Your awning on your RV will face your will face the restroom, so there's not a whole lot of privacy in this site. To the left there is the water electric sewer and cable TV hookup. The electric hookup is 50 amp in this site. And this site is also equipped with a fire pit with grill grate, a picnic table, and a hook to hang a lantern or other gear. And as you can see, there's not a whole lot of space there. So if you have a lot of stuff that you put out there, like a camp kitchen or uh, lots of camp chairs and things like that, you're not going to have a whole lot of space. And it is very close to the road in the restroom. So you may want to keep that in mind if you're going to book this site. And those are the sites in this video and all of the sites at Reed Bingham State Park. So guys, I hope you found that video review useful. We go across the nation and shoot all the empty campsites everywhere we camp and bring those videos to you to make it easier for you to select the site when you're making reservations to go camping. Guys, we love to go camping and we want to help you get your kids outside. We want to help you get your kids camping. And so if there's anything that we can do to help you Take your kids camping, hiking, fishing, learn about nature, or develop a conservation ethic. We would love to do that. So drop a comment below. Let us know if you've stayed at Reed Bingham, uh, where you stayed, how you liked it, what you did at the park. We'd love to hear from you. If you have any questions about how to get your kids outside, what kind of gear you need, or where you should go, we'd love to hear from you. Drop a comment below. Or you can connect with us on our other social media. We're on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Twitter. All the links to those are down in the description below as well. Or you can hit us up on our website at www.kempoutside.com. So guys, we release new videos every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time right here on YouTube. Our Monday and Tuesday videos are focused on campground and campsite reviews. And our Thursday videos are on a wide range of topics including camping, hiking, fishing, how-to videos, tips and tricks, gear reviews, and a whole lot more. So if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, that little bell icon that notifies you when we release new videos, and hit that like button for me. So guys, thanks for watching Camp Outside. We're going to be bringing you a whole lot more campground and campsite review videos from Georgia and other states as well, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.